Hey everybody, it's Steph Mischuk, KillerSites.com. I haven't done a video blog in a little while, and the reason I haven't done a video blog in a while is because I'm suffering from Iggyitis, which is an acute form of pure and simple laziness. I've just been too lazy to get to it, been preoccupied with other things, but fortunately we have been working on a bunch of new content, and some of it is online at the uh, killer video library right here and uh, just killersites.com slash video dash library and so we've put out a few courses on uh, Dreamweaver CS6 a monster one 12 13 hours Photoshop CS6 uh, we've put out a new PHP shopping cart video which now has many more advanced features than the traditional one that we have and it also is backed by a MySQL database so it's kind of cool beyond that we've been working on our video store now here is the current video store that's live very simple kind of a blogish type of interface with some e-commerce capabilities added on it's okay but what we're doing now is we're about to release a far more advanced video store that is uh, well, two main things. First of all, we've made the videos much easier to find in terms of categorizing them as well. We've restyled it. Well, I'll just show you here. Here's here's what it looks like on the dev site. This is not the latest version, but uh, it gives you a pretty good idea of what you're going for here. So click on Killer Sites Collection. Instead of having to go to many pages, you can see our our major courses all easily found on one page. What's I guess besides the fact that you know we have a totally different look and feel, what makes this store a little bit more interesting is that we're adding the ability for users to rate courses and videos and to comment on them. So that will be integrated within the site. So you click on a particular course and you're going to have the testimonies here, here live plus a rating system. Um, on this version, of course, the user reviews and the rating has has not been implemented, but they'll be there very soon. Um, we're also going to have a video, a blog for the video store for the first time. And I decided to put a blog here because I wanted to comment and start blogging about very specific videos within the courses themselves or some interesting things that we may be able to discuss. And I'm also going to include some exclusive video content uh, on the store that may or may not be included in, in any of the courses themselves. The idea is to make the video store not just a place to come and pick up videos, but also a really, a really interesting place to learn. There's going to be, as with the, the current store, there's going to be a lot of free videos there for you to uh, watch. But the new system, the, the videos will be uh, given a much better context, meaning the it's going to be much... I don't know how to describe it. I guess it's going to be they're going to be positioned more effectively, so they're easier to find, and there's going to be relation and there's going to be more commentary on the videos themselves via the blog and the rating systems, I guess. So uh, yeah, that's about it. I don't want to go on any any more about this. Um, so that's it. So besides that, I myself am working on a new course or two. I've just been really delayed with that. Uh, specifically, I'm working on a new beginner's web design course to replace my very old and very first course I produced. I guess it was in 2003, maybe earlier, I'm not sure. And uh, now that the course is relevant now, although because web design has not changed radically in terms of the basics anyway since that time, the last big evolution of web design was in, I guess, 2003 to maybe 2004, I forget now, where there's a shift from table-based design for page structure to CSS-based design for page, page structure. And that was a major shift. And it, it really affected even all the web design tools and even Photoshop. And they had to adjust to this new paradigm if in web design so yeah besides that well fortunately my previous course which is called what's it called it's called web design one 
it actually, here it is, um, it actually taught modern web design techniques using CSS positioning and so on. Although some of the, um, like in this video, besides the fact that it's made with a much smaller video size because of the time and the sound quality wasn't isn't nearly as good as what we do now simply because I was using a crappy mic back then I didn't know what I was doing in that regard the uh, you know you see me using IE6 in this and old versions of Firefox so it kind of freaks people out anyway so putting together a new beginners web design course I'm putting together uh, we're also putting together rather a new jQuery basics course to update our previous title although everything taught in our older titles are relevant it's just we want to spruce them up with uh, newer graphics and to sort of include some of the newer stuff as well um, and besides that I got some other interesting titles that uh, I've been slowly working on taking notes and structuring things anyway we'll stop there I don't want to bore you guys so um, expect more very soon thanks a lot